Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my entire luxury SLG collection. That's small leather goods, and I have 10 pieces to share with you. It's not a huge collection by any means. For those of you who know me, I am somewhat of a minimalist, so I have not accumulated a whole lot of SLGs, but the ones that I do have, I really do enjoy, so I'm excited to share these with you. So starting from left to right, the first one I'm gonna share is the Longchamp coin purse. This was an item that I did a giveaway on back in February, I wanna say, and one of my subbies, Chrissy, won the identical twin of this Longchamp coin purse. So Chrissy, if you're watching, hi! I hope you're enjoying your little cutie. So this is like a shrunken down version of the Longchamp Le Pliage Tote, and the quality and the craftsmanship, even on this tiny little cutie, is actually really, really great. As you can see here, you've got the cowhide leather with the neat stitching here and then the shiny gold hardware. It's just really cutely done and it has the exact form and shape as the totes, they're classic totes. And I purchased this really for travel, so when I go to other countries, I tend to accumulate a lot of foreign currency in coins. Not intentionally, but you know, as you travel, you tend to just get back a lot of change in coins if you use cash. So I thought this would be a great little pouch to carry my coins in. It's very light, and this is just a little pamphlet that came with it. I keep it on the very bottom because it will keep the bottom of the pouch clean. As we all know, money is pretty filthy, so it will keep the bottom of the pouch clean. It will also help to retain the shape because one of the things I really dislike about the Longchamp totes is that there's this sort of sag that happens. And I do have a tote that looks identical to this one in the red, and I don't really use it very much because it does sag a lot, and I haven't thought to get a bag organizer or anything like that. Um, I just I just don't use it. So I like that. This little small piece of pamphlet down here helps to keep it from sagging and it's just really cute. It's very, very small as you can see. So that is SLG number one. And then my second one here is a card holder that many of you probably have seen before in my earlier videos. This is my Chanel card holder that is between 15 and 20 years old. It's very special to me because my husband of 15 years actually bought this for me when we were dating. So it was like right out of college, maybe towards the end of my college years. We met pretty young. Um, and we were walking through Saks Fifth Avenue and I saw this and I fell in love with it. And he bought it for me. At the time, it was probably about 150 to 200 dollars i can't imagine it being more than that it was a lot of money for us back then it still is a lot of money but these now go for closer to 450 to 500 dollars so talk about the chanel price increases it does have the two card slots in the back and then one in the front and here's the main compartment it has the brushed gold hardware and it has the larger quilting that i know is kind of in these days with the chanel 19 style it's not puffy though, it's pretty flat, and it's got this shiny, um, almost like patent, but not really patent leather, uh, shiny coating here. I think it's in really good shape considering how old she is. She's definitely older than both of my kids, <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, and older than how long my husband and I have been married, so I think she's doing great. There's my Chanel card holder, and then for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that now I'm using this card holder or sort of alternating between the two. I was a lucky giveaway winner from LV Lover CC's YouTube channel. So Karis, if you're watching, hi dear. Thank you so much again because this was such a surprise. I could not believe that I won. It is the Camellia card holder in the beautiful red caviar with the shiny light gold hardware same structure as the other card holder with the one card slot in the front two in the back you can see i'm using it right now and then the main compartment for the cash so one thing i will show you is that the sizes of the card holders are pretty noticeably different so my i don't want to call it my old one but my original one my first one is definitely a mini it's really small and I love it because it is a space saver for my uh, teeniest of mini bags. And then this one is definitely a little bit more substantial in size, a little bit more, I don't know, hefty? Not that it's hefty, it's a card holder, it's really small, but compare if you compare these two, you can see here it's like the mini and then the bigger size. 
So there you have it. Those are my second and third SLGs. And then I have moving on to Louis Vuitton. This is my cute little coin pouch. Now, why do I have two coin purses? I have this one, and then I also have the long champ that I just showed you. So this one, I actually put my earbuds in here, and a lot of you guys have reached out saying, why don't you just buy the Apple AirPods? My husband has the AirPods. I sometimes borrow them, but I only use them around the house because they fall out of my ears, even with the uh, little rubber thingies. I don't know what to call these, these rubber covers. For some reason, they fall out of my ears. I think I have just abnormally tiny ear canals. And so when I'm out and about or on the subway or walking around the city, I feel a little bit paranoid that they're going to pop out of my ears and I'll lose them. And they're not cheap. So I'm just using my old original earbuds for now and they work well. And I love the shape of this it's round and it opens very easily it's perfect for when I curl up my earbuds it keeps it really tidy I love the pop of blue this is the Christmas animation from 2019 with Vivian on it and I chose this uh, this image or this animation because this is Venice Italy obviously you can tell here and my daughter and I went on our very first mother-daughter trip last year to Italy and Venice was one of the cities that we stopped off in and so it just felt really special and memorable and I wanted to capture that year so I chose this one not to mention the pop of colors it's just really cheerful and it puts a smile on my face every time I use it so there you have it and then moving on, I have a Saint Laurent piece, and this is the beautiful croc embossed small compact wallet that I bought last year. I am absolutely smitten with this wallet. I think that Saint Laurent does an amazing job with their croc embossing. It is, look at it, just the shimmer, the shine, the polish, the detail, and it's got the shiny silver hardware. It has the zip around for coins. So, and then the inside is such buttery soft leather. I think it's calfskin, but it almost feels like lambskin to the touch. And then here on the sides, you have the croc embossing. At the back is just beautiful. It's really nice to the touch. I wish you guys could feel it. And then if you open it up, you have the card slots on each side. You also have uh, two extra slots on the left here. And then you have the larger compartment for your bills. So I believe this wallet is still available for sale on the site or at the boutiques. I know the boutiques are probably all closed. I think most, if not all, of yeah, all non-essential stores, at least in the U.S., are closed. So, um, but when things pick up again, I do think that if you're looking for a beautiful compact wallet and you're into the croc look, then this is just stunning it's stunning it was a little on the pricey side i think it was about 700 dollars or maybe 750 something like that but i think it's one of the most beautiful wallets i've ever seen and this is actually my only compact sized wallet i try not to duplicate items so i have one compact size and then one large full-size continental wallet and that's it for wallets um, and then I have the two card holders. I would have just kept one card holder, but then, you know, I was so lucky to win the second Chanel card holder. So that's why I have two. So there you have it. And then I'm going to move on to Louis Vuitton's mini pochette. So I'll show you actually these two together. This one you will have seen quite a bit because it is probably my all-time favorite SLG if I had to choose one, if I was forced to choose, because I use this almost every day and it's just such a functional piece and offers a lot of convenience in that I put all my daily essentials and knickknacks in here and then I can easily transfer these from one handbag to another without having, without really having to think twice so it keeps me really organized so this one is my favorite one the Damier Bin because it has the pop of red on the inside I love that as you can see it's all full I love that. And of course the monogram is super cute too, but for those of you who watched me unbox this one, this is not for me. I'm showing it here in case anyone is interested, but this is a future gift. I bought it so that I could tuck it away and save it for my daughter when she's a little bit older, especially with the price increases. I mean, already there was a $40 price increase between, between these two. I bought the Damier Ben one last year for $310. And then recently with the price increase, I paid $350 for the monogram one. So I did some math and I thought by the time she's a little older, these pieces are going to be crazy expensive, even more crazy expensive. So I went ahead and bought this one. Plus, 
seems like these pieces are so hard to get. So when they do turn up, you know, it's just, if you've been eyeing it and it's been on your kind of a wish list or what have you, then you snatch it up. So yeah, if you are interested in me doing a separate, more in-depth video on uh, these two and the differences and just kind of showing you all the little nooks and crannies of each, let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to do that. I know some of you have a hard time deciding between the Damier Bin and the Monogram and have reached out asking me like, how did you decide? It's really a personal preference, right? It's really what makes you feel excited. And I love the Damier print for the mini pochette personally. Okay, moving on to my full-size Continental wallet. This, this wallet is quite a few years old. It is a Prada Safiano zip around wallet style. It's got the pretty gold, it's like a yellow gold um, hardware, unlike the brushed gold or more subtle light gold that you see on some of these other pieces. And then, yeah, so in here I have some of my cards that I just never ever use, but once in a blue moon I might need to access them. So I just stick them all in here. Here is the main zippered compartment. Ooh. Okay, so here it's a little sticky because, like I said, I haven't used this in years probably. So here you can put your coins, your receipts, what have you. And then you have four card slots on one side, four car card slots on the other, and then an open slip pocket you know, over here too. What is this? Oh, okay. So I have some, uh, I have some foreign currency. This is, these are bills from when I traveled for my last trip to Seoul. I guess I just left them in there. Yeah, when I say I haven't used this, I really haven't used this in years. I bought this from the Woodbury Commons outlet, which is about an hour and a half drive or so from where I live here in Manhattan. And when I bought this, it was probably like summer or spring. And I, I don't know why I was just really drawn to this bubblegum pink color, which is really not like me because I don't have a whole lot of pink. Actually, I don't think I have anything else that's pink, but I was really drawn to this. It's such a beautiful pink color and I just thought it was very pretty and feminine. And so I did use it for a while, but now that my bag sizes have shrunken, like I've really, I've really started enjoying more smaller crossbody bags and mini bags. This size just doesn't work for me anymore. So I'll just hang on to it because it is my only full-sized wallet and maybe in the future when I start to upgrade the size of my bags who knows I'll start using it but for now it's just gonna sit here and then moving on I have my Chanel wallet on chain or better known as the Chanel walk this is technically an SLG but I use it as a mini bag you know it is a wallet on chain so you can use it as a wallet mine is in the black caviar with the silver hardware it's got the back pocket it has that some people call this the Mona Lisa smile pocket, very similar to the Chanel classic flaps. And then mine is a 2017 model, so it has the snap closure and then the longer zipper pull. But if you purchase a brand new one from the boutique that was made in late 2019 or after, so if you were to buy one now, then you would get the one with the magnetic closure, which is just a lot easier, I think, because you don't have to actually pay attention to what you're doing when you close it, because here I have to look before I snap it. So you would get the magnetic closure and you would also get a slightly edited version of the zipper pull, which is uh, flatter and smaller and not as prone to pressing down here. You see, it's very subtle, but there's a little bit of an indentation. So I do put a piece of felt that came with it and I just, you know, just to protect it a little bit when I store this. So it has the beautiful, delicate chain. It's much thinner than the chain that comes on the Chanel Classic Flaps. I think it's just a little bit more feminine looking. Not that the other ones are not feminine, but I, I love the thinner version. It's very proportional to the size of the wallet on chain. And then you have the zipper here, unlike the Classic Flaps, where if you pull open the zipper on the inside, it only goes a little bit upward. This one actually is really cool because it goes all the way down to the very, very, very bottom. So if you're looking for more in-depth videos of each of these items, I will link them down below in the description box. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to quickly go through. Here you have the maroon lining. Um, I did purchase a bag shaper from Etsy from a shop called M Boutique, and it was only about 
30 bucks, I think, 25, 30 bucks. And it's really a game changer because it opens up the bag and really keeps the structure. So for a small little wallet on chain, it does have a lot of different compartments, which I love. And I do use this as a mini crossbody bag, shoulder bag. The chain is not detachable, but you can wrap it around multiple times and change the look of it and I think it's really versatile that way depending on your height. I also love the look of the chain sitting up top so you can play around with this. I do like this a lot. It's quite pricey right now. It's going to retail for $2,500 in the U.S. I bought this slightly under retail pri price. Maybe I saved $75 or $100 because I bought this pre-loved from Fashion File, but it was in new condition with all the tags and the full set and all of that, so I got lucky. But I noticed that for some reason, when you look at the wallet on chains on pre-loved sites, sometimes they're charging above retail, which I really wouldn't recommend you do unless you're like absolutely desperate to get your hands on one. Even then, I, I feel like just be patient because... When you go into the boutiques, they are just chock full of these wallet on chains and they have an array of colors. One time the SA opened up the closet and she she showed me all the different colors and all the different styles because it does come in the boy style as well. It was like a rainbow. There must have been 50 different colors in there. It was absolutely stunning. And the only reason why I purchased this pre-loved when I did is because for some reason at the time, for months and months and months that I was looking, all of the boutiques were sold out in this combination, the black caviar with the silver hardware. And I wouldn't have purchased it unless uh, I knew that they weren't coming back for a while and that I could get my hands on a really, really either brand new or pristine, excellent condition one. So everything kind of lined up for me and it worked out. So I did get this one and I'm really happy with it. But I think right now in the boutiques, they are fully stocked up again because soon after I purchased this, I stopped by a couple of boutiques and they had plenty. I went with a friend who wanted to buy the same one as mine and she bought it in the lambskin and they had many, many options. The only thing is that this one is a made in France piece and at the time in the boutiques, they only had made in Italy. So it's kind of hit or miss depending on what you're looking for and, and the time and season and the shipment of what they get in. But if you're not super picky like me, then you might be able to get your hands on one much easier. Okay, final SLG. So this is my newest edition, and this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. I call it the Accessoire. I think some people call it the Accessoire. I'm not sure, but oh, there's a pack of tissues in here. Okay, but that uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. It comes with the short Vachetta strap, leather strap that matches this tab here. So I will show you that. I took it off because I don't usually use it with this short strap. So you just kind of tie this on. It could be a short shoulder strap or you can just hand carry it like this. Um, without the strap, you can use this as a little clutch or as a makeup bag or a pouch. I am using this as a mini bag once again, like my wallet on chain. So I actually purchased this beautiful gold chain from Etsy from a shop called Organize My Bag and I did secure a promotion code, a promo code. So if you are interested in buying this exact same chain, I did feature this in an earlier video um, where I talked about six different ways to wear the pochette accessoire. And the promo code is catwalk10. So catwalk, like what's in my channel name, hello catwalk city. So it's all lower caps, catwalk10. So the number 10, one zero. And if you plug that in, it actually works on any of the chains that they sell. They have so many different kinds of chains. This one is the 43 inch. I'll link it down below in the description box. I think this is perfect for my height. I'm about five, five and a half in height and about 115 pounds in weight. Um, I just share that because everyone has different body frames and this sits really well on me, both on one shoulder and also a cross body. And I showed in that video how you can wrap it around and wear it doubled and tripled and just really fun ways to wear it. This chain actually is very similar to the Louis Vuitton Felici chain. It almost looks identical and I love how the color matches the Louis Vuitton hardware really well and I, I just think they did a really nice job with it. So go check that out if you're interested. But back to the pochette accessoire, it is the monogram. They do have, um, they have another 
version in, oh, I shouldn't say another version. It's the exact same one in the Damier Azor. So that could be really nice for like summer or with winter whites. Uh, they used to have one in the Damier Abin, but I believe that has been discontinued because I have not seen that for a while. And so this is the monogram again with the chestnut brown cloth lining. And then it has this slip pocket on the side from what I understand the older models if you were to go pre-loved or even vintage then you may not see this slip pocket because they added this a few years back so it's a slightly different version yeah the zipper is really smooth I had uh, one of my subbies reach out and ask me to take a look at her new push it accessoire that she just purchased and she was concerned that the zipper, there's something wrong with the zipper and I did, I was honest with her and I did say maybe bring it back to the boutique or return it. Um, I guess you can't really bring it back to the boutique, everything is closed right now, but return it by mail because when she zipped it up and she agreed, when she zipped it up, it wasn't smooth like so, it wasn't straight, it was actually wavy something was off about the canvas it was kind of like bubbly not bubbly but I don't know how to describe it it was wavy and not this clean line here and it wasn't like she had overstuffed it there was nothing in it she had just shown me what it looked like and then when you opened it it wasn't two straight parallel lines again it was kind of bumpy up and down so I think she said she was going to return it and keep looking but yeah I mean these pieces are not cheap they're definitely cheaper than the full-size handbags but these are small S, you know, SLGs are small leather goods. And for the amount of money you're going to pay, like this one, uh, currently retails for $540 in the US. So you definitely want to get one that is in, you know, perfect condition. So here are my 10 SLGs. Let me move the tissue aside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Do you own any of these? Are you after any of these? Sometimes, you know, you guys have wish lists and you tell me which one you're really hoping to get your hands on. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to join the fun. Thanks so much. Bye.